Right now, members of the state's Senate Finance Committee are preparing to hear a bill that would bring sports betting to one Rhode Island casino. And as we first told you yesterday, the U.S. Supreme Court issued a decision saying states can legalize it. Tonight, we're learning more about what the bill would allow and hearing from state officials about its impacts. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kaloudian is live at the State House with those details now. Kim? Well, Shannon and Mike, today's hearing comes coincidentally right on the heels of yesterday's ruling. Most local leaders are in favor of this proposal, and if all goes according to plan, you might be seeing legalized sports gaming happening in local casinos come October. The debate begins on Smith Hill after a ruling from the Supreme Court puts legalizing sports betting in the hands of the states. I'm pleased that the Supreme Court went that way. We're not surprised. That's what folks have predicted. Last winter, Governor Gina Raimondo rolled the dice, proposing a budget that relied on $23.5 million in revenue from sports gaming. She was confident the highest court would strike down the 1992 Professional and Amateur Sports Protection Act. On Monday, her bet paid off. Now it does pave the way for us to be able to do sports betting at Twin River and so we're going to focus on implementing that and making sure we can get it up and running as soon as we can. Raimondo's Republican opponent in the governor's race, Cranston Mayor Alan Fung, also supports sports gaming but warns in a statement, quote, much like her highway tolls, Raimondo is rolling the dice on unrealistic numbers to plug her numerous budget holes. Rhode Islanders deserve a budget that is based on realistic numbers and expectations. On Tuesday, the Senate Finance Committee will hear testimony on a bill which would make Twin Rivers casinos the only homes for legal sports gaming in Rhode Island. The betting would be regulated by the lottery and would exclude wagers on local college teams. And that Senate Finance Committee hearing is getting underway. Now coming up new at 6, we'll hear from a local law enforcement expert and what impacts he thinks this proposal could have on the state. For now, reporting live at the State House, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Follow up now to the U.S. Supreme Court's decision allowing states to legalize sports betting. Right now, a group of lawmakers are considering a bill to make that happen here in Rhode Island. Iowa News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live from the State House. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, that's right. There is a Senate Finance Committee hearing that's underway, and lawmakers actually just heard testimony from representatives from the M NBA, the MLB, PGA Tours, and DraftKings, all of them saying that they support the legalization and regulation of sports gaming, especially in the face of illegal sports gaming. But earlier today, I spoke with the former superintendent of the Rhode Island State Police, and he's not convinced that this measure will cut down on illegal sports betting. Now, this proposal was submitted by the Senate president and has the backing of both the House Speaker and the governor. Uh, the governor was also sort of placing a bet on sports gaming for more than $23 million in the upcoming fiscal year. It was included in her proposed budget, but we wanted to know about the potential legal implications of this. So we spoke with retired state police colonel and Eyewitness News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell, who worked as an undercover bookie and says he doesn't think that legalizing sports betting will help cut down on those illegals gaming rings. Yeah, you're never going to knock it out of the box. There's pundits that would think it diminishes. I don't think it diminishes. I just think it stays the same. No different from what happened with marijuana. Marijuana, I make the argument, is still out there in bulk form. So you talk to a wise guy, which I've done, about this story, and it's they almost chuckle on it. It's not going to knock them out of business. And if everything goes according to plan, the state would see legal sports betting come online sometime in October of this year. We're going to head back into this committee hearing and we'll bring you more updates tonight on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11. For now, reporting live at the State House, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.